back to another video and my mom is going to tell us what we're doing. Well, I do know it's a... Uh, well, Tornado Tom wants to have a alien space party for his birthday, so I figured we're going to make some very cool alien space masks that you can see through. Look. Cool, then. see you guys. Okay, cool. So that's what we're going to do today. So here's what you need. I've just got some sugar paper, but any... What is that for? I'm not going to explain. Okay. Sugar paper is just any scrap paper, just so that we can get our basic shape down. Then I've got some very cool stuff here. It's kind of like a glittered foam board. I've got it in three different colors. That's what could, this is. You, okay. could, you could use any, um, any cool hard cardboard or color that you like. I've got, for example, from some pizza bases that and we get. The back. The um I'm showing them the back of okay. the thing just to show them how we do it. I'm okay, sure we're gonna it. show them how we do it. Okay. So this is just cardboard so that we can get our a basic shape. Because we actually need to make a lot of these yeah. for the party. Okay. Except in this video. Can we put that down now because it's very distracting. Thank Except you. in this video, I think we're gonna do one each. We'll do one each, yeah. Yeah, one each. Okay, so can I just go through what we need? Uh, yeah. Okay, so we've got just the paper so we can get our basic shape done. Paper. Okay, so obviously pencil. We need a, a black marker or some sort of a marker. Some tape. Some what we... Clear tape. And we, what we call press stick, which I think you guys call white or blue tack. We're just going to use that to just secure our thing down. Some when sticks we, for those the are, thing that you hold. Well, these are... Sticks. These might not be ideal because they've got a point, but this is what we've got. They are society sticks. Ice cream sticks, the flat sticks would be good too. Um, we've got a ruler, and we've also got, in case you don't want to put a stick, we've got some stretchy elastic if, so that you can actually do. You the know that string, right? It's not elastic. No, look, it's elastic. Is Stretches. It? Yeah. It looks like string. And look. then, and then, can you see string? I've got three different colors of cellophane. Now, cellophane is a very fun Ow. paper that is transparent. And that's what we're going to use for the eyes. And that's what we use for the eyes and there as well. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to get our alien shape down. We are just going to make a classic alien. So the trick for this is take a piece of even white printer paper, take a piece of paper, fold it in half. And if you're new, subscribe. Okay, you need to do the same, please. Can you take a piece of paper and fold it in half? Or should I, we just do one and just have one template? Okay, the best thing to pull paper is to pull it from the edge and pull it away from the joint. Okay, there we go. And fold it in half. And fold it in half. Okay, so you put the two corners together. Okay, put the two corners together and just fold your paper in half. Two corners together. Right, good. There we go. And then you put your best thing to do when you fold is to start from the middle and push out to the edges. Okay. So now we've got a piece of paper. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw... I have a very big mouth. Here's a pencil <laughs> for you. We're going to basically draw half an alien head, okay? So I'm going to draw a shape sort of like a teardrop shape. So remember yeah, the top uh, of an alien's head is very wide and then okay, the Okay, let's just look at that to see the shape because it's... There's the shape. Okay, but we only do half, remember, to get it perfectly symmetrical. Wait, so I must do it like that? What or does it? symmetrical mean? I know, there. What does symmetrical mean? If you like, like you fold paper in half and then you cut and then like it has like two things. It's symmetrical. Like means a butterfly's wings. Okay, it means they're exactly the same on both sides. So this is how we do it. So I'm going to draw, you can draw the shape of your head. It's just basically like a big, I don't know, teardrop ball. Okay? I, uh... So what I've done, I don't know if you can see that, but I've drawn a... How's that good? That's too small. We want to use the whole piece of paper. So it's fine, don't rub it off, just do it on the other side. So draw all the way from the top, not all the way from the top. Leave about that much, because you've got to get a knot to the edge. You're going to have a funny shape. Cool, okay. So now... Yeah. You can't, you okay. can't see that. I'm going to quickly cut mine out. This is just to make sure that we get our shape right. This is not our actual final, well, template. It can be, I suppose. I've made a rain roll. So it's up to you how many you're going to make. Mommy, so when I cut it out, that's going to be on the other side. It doesn't matter. So there's my shape. 
All right, Tornado Tom, can you cut out your shape? I'm not that good at cutting. Just don't make that a point. You, well, okay, we'll fix it later. Okay, let's throw my scraps away. Good job. So the trick, the trick about doing this is when you cut it, is to hold your two pieces, pieces of paper together. Faces. So pieces of faces together, so that they don't, you don't get skewed. If your paper, if your paper is not aligned, you're going to get a kind of a wonky shape. So what Thomas is doing there is very good, but just don't cut your fingers. Your fingers are in the way of those blades. Your fingers must always be behind the blades. And sometimes. If you've got smaller scissors, if you're little, it's easy to cut in mid-air if you hold it and turn the paper rather than your scissors. But that's just one idea. Okay, nearly done, nearly done. Oh, okay, cool. Show us your shape. Perfect. I just drew a little bit. Should I rub that out? Don't worry, we're not going to see it. It's, oh, this is just a template. Okay, now... I want to rub it out. Oh, goodness. Okay, oh, fine. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Okay. So now we have our basic shape. Now what we need to do with this is we need to... What do I do with this? Do I just throw it? We throw it in the book, in the garbage. Well, if, if it's recyclable, you recycle it. So this, I've just got a, that pizza base that I was telling you about. Sorry about the squeaky chair. So what we're going to do is you're going to place yours. I've already... Does mine look like a heart? Oh. Not at all. Not at all. So if you're going to put it on the cardboard... Wait, let me just... Uh... It's only the chin that looks different. It's fine. We'll, we, you, I can fix your chin if you like. No. Okay, so is your chin too pointy? I think so. Then we can just... It looks like a heart, doesn't it? No, we just curve the chin. Watch what I do here. I'm just going to take uh, that line and I'm going to cut a little bit. Like that. So now... 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 Now you've got a little chin. Looks, <laughs> it looks like a butt chin. Okay. <laughs> you've got a butt chin. So can I, sorry, may I borrow Wait. your face? Oh. So you take your stiff piece of cardboard, or you don't need to. You could just take this and trace it directly onto your board. If you want to do um, lots of them like us, guys. one second, you keep interrupting me, please don't interrupt me. If you want to do lots of them, you're going to need a nice strong template like this one. Okay, now I've already, can you, would you mind passing that to me? I've already created and a template guys, like this. And guys, by the way, this is um, our first grade video, and we're going to probably do more, like where we create stuff and show you it. Probably. Yeah, definitely. We very we like doing creative stuff. Okay, so there I've created this template. Would you like to create one of these, or are you going to just trace straight onto your? We would you like to borrow mine? The be, the idea is you just trace your shape once you're happy with it in paper. I want to trace mine because it has a butt chin. Okay, so trace. And it, that, this is what the, this is what we use the, the what we call press stick or the tack for. Okay, you're going to tack it down onto the cardboard, or and then you're going I to maybe? take your. So it's tacked down. See that? Okay. No, it's fine. We'll use your shape. It'll be great. Let's use your shape. And then you need to trace your shape. Tornado Tom. Okay. So just very carefully. You know, you've got to see the air. What I do, watch what I'm doing. I need to see where I'm going with my pen. So I don't want to cover up where I'm drawing. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to trace like that. Okay. <clears throat> it's a bit more difficult with the paper because it's not giving you a nice hard edge to follow. But you'll, it'll be fine. No. Don't worry, if you don't worry, it's not important. We can always fix it with the scissors. Remember, these are just templates. In other words, they're just guides to follow. These are not the finished mask. So we're just trying to get our basic shape. Dad, come. Oh, this is gonna be so messed up. Yeah, hold your paper down, and you just gotta follow with your eyes. If you go, if you let your eyes lead the way, your hand will follow. And you also helps is to rest your hand. There we go. To rest your hand now on the table. Now let's see what my butt chin alien looks like. Okay, so there's the butt chin alien. <laughs> We're gonna take this guy off. Butt chin. And there we have his butt chin alien. He says it's got a butt chin over here. You'll see there's a little bit of a butt chin. Two butt cheeks. So now we need to cut this out. Oh shoot! I've already cut it out. <clears throat> Cut it is not a word. You need to use the edge. If you use the, the, the deep part of your scissors, it's much easier than using the tip. A lot more control. And you are using the scissors upside down. Okay? 
I didn't know there was such a There's way. absolutely. Okay. Scissors have a right way up and a wrong way up. Maybe a little. Okay. Okay, can you help? I'm going to help you. Okay, this is very thick cardboard, so I'm just going to help him quickly. Don't forget the butt chin. Don't forget the butt chin. You can even have uh, little feelers if you want. Shall we give you some feelers? For what? Fun? No. Come on. No. It'll be fun. No. All right. <laughs> but you can do whatever shape you like. Remember, be creative. We are just doing the classic, just because that's what you're doing. But you can even do like the alien from the movie, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm not really going to work for this, but you can oh, do whatever you like. And have little feelers. Have a funny wide head. Just make sure that it's going to fit. Maybe you can even do a boo, like from home. A boo, yeah. Any mask. But remember, oh, you just got to fit oh, onto oh. your paper that your final piece of whatever you're going to make it out of. Hi <laughs> okay, so there we've got our point. You so now I've got to do the butt I'm chin. doing the butt cheek. Butt chin. I mean the butt chin. I'm doing the butt chin. See how I turn the, the cardboard over? Because sometimes it's much easier to I work. Am. Um, okay, in one I'm direction gonna... with your scissors. So that button looks way bigger than all that. Yeah, but look, not really. The way bigger button. <laughs> no. Hey guys, look, big body. And okay, so there we have. Now show it to them. Okay, so there we have. Tomato Tom's butt cheek alien. Oh, you can edit it to put a little um, arrow over there. Okay. <laughs> well, so now Tomato Tom's gonna make a pink one. No, I'm making, you're oh. making the pink one. Are you sure? I'm making the silver one okay. with blue eyes. So he's gonna As you can see, the green ones have purple, the silver ones will have blue, and the pink ones will have green eyes. Okay. So, and give me the blue one. Please. Okay, one second, we haven't got there yeah, yet. Yeah, 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 So I'm gonna yeah. make a pink one, you're gonna make a silver one. May I have my template, please? Okay, so the next thing is to take your template, whether it's this or your piece of paper. My watch. Okay, turn your, very important. What I do now? Turn your piece of paper or your piece of foam board or cardboard over so this is the wrong way. If there's a right and wrong side, which this does, this is very shiny, this is very dull. Like this. So turn it over so when you draw on your piece of paper, you're drawing on the wrong side, okay? So that you don't mess it up. So now you hold I'm it. I'm a little bit confused. You're confused. Uh, wait, I must okay. outline this. You need to trace this and you need to hold this nicely and strongly so it doesn't move. Not that strong, but just hold it in place. Okay, and very, that's it. I'm very sorry. carefully trace your. It's much easier to pull a pen than it is to push it, by the way. So rather pull, some, pull the pen, the marker, than try and push the marker. Okay, there you go. So pulling is easier. Okay, I'll hold it while you swap around. But you done. <laughs> Okay, just don't draw on the table, that's the important thing. Voila, okay. Voila. I'm going to trace mine very quickly, thank you. Okay, now show them your shape. But so now we have the butt and look on the other, oh, Look on the other side, that's... There's nothing. No, look. Nothing. Okay, so here we have... Tiny. Okay, but we can also take your price of the stuff off because that's kind of anyway the price is on there, but that's fine. Just leave it. So there are our shapes, and now we just cut them out. Mine has a butt cheek. Okay, I'm going to quickly cut mine out, and then Tornado Tom will do his. I don't have a butt cheek. Because you made the butt cheek. <laughs> okay, I'm having a girly alien because we do have girls coming to the party, and uh, we. Would yeah, like in my class, um, um, the boys just invite boys and the girls just invite girls. Oh, I'm, well, I'm different. I'm different. Well, no, we, not everybody does that. But we like different. to invite everybody because we love parties. Yeah. We love parties. It's like the highlight. We absolutely love birthdays and we love parties. So there we go. We have my pink alien head shape. Your turn. While you cut that, I'm going to show, show them how to do the eyes or shall I wait for you? Uh, you can do the eyes. It's fine. Okay, so I'm putting our templates. I'm going to put them to the side for later when we need to make more and more and more of these. Okay, I need you and don't to let the butt cheeks. talk. So now... Guys, if you, want, if you want to copy me and like, you know, copy YouTube, just... Just do, be careful, just, don't cut just into make your the, thing. Just make the butt cheeks. Don't use the tips of your scissors, use this part. It's much more control. Tornado Tom, I put your, your stuff... This has enough control. Oh, you're going to mess up. Okay, so... I'm not... Now what we need to do, sorry, is we need to draw a midpoint. 
So basically, just a guess. Where, well, I'm kind of guessing where the middle of our head is, okay? Uh, and I'm going to draw a a line up the middle of my head, just in pencil. It's just making a mark. Okay, so I've just got a, a little mark going up the middle of you're my. You're bumping my end. Board. Sorry. And then I'm going to draw another line going horizontally, sort of in the middle of my head. Okay, and I'll tell you why. Actually, I just need a little line in the middle. So now I've got a little, a little line going, little line going here, and a long line going there. This is just a, as an indicator, because what I need to do is I need to draw eyes, right? Okay, and I want them to all meet at exactly the same point. So I've got a cross here, okay, and that is what that's going to be our guide. Now we don't want our eyes to touch, so you need to put say a finger space there and then draw another little line going up and up so let me try and see if I can't show you what I've done there and if we'll get that good job okay Tom is, <laughs> so now that Tom is done you just said like I'm going to wait for the okay okay there we go well done okay so let's Mind tornado Tom take a ruler and draw a line going from top to bottom approximately in the middle it'll go from the middle <laughs> of the butt up the butt crack Make sure it's kind of straight. Oh my god. Tornado Tom, it's easier to pull a pencil than push a pencil or a marker. So pull towards you. Hey guys, can I tell you something? Okay. Now, no. Uh, that was a big fail. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's fine. So, now, we can... uh, guys, have, if you've ever been to Cape Town, um, can I tell you something? I've been there because my dad lives there. And I've been to Rush. And you like jump into this thing and then it feels like this when you like, it looks like it when you like Oh, the foam. Oh, yeah, cool. the foam. It's straight. like a big trampoline hall. Yeah, it's like tramp. Okay. Ah! Let's get your focus back to the alien mask. Yeah, sure. Okay. So now we need to draw a horizontal line. Mm? A horizontal line. Okay. A little horizontal line. Sort of in the middle of your head. Horizontal? To horizontal means it's going from left to right. Vertical means it's going from top to bottom. Okay, so then that's what about I'm... what about like the uh, this? And then take your thumb. That's diagonal. Take your thumb or a finger, and then on either side you're going to go another little vertical line. Okay, and that's where your eyes are going to meet. That's the point of your eyes. Hmm? That's the point of your eyes. Okay, so now I'm going to draw a line. It's going to be hard to show you. Let me try and I'm going to do it in pencil. It's going to go diagonally up. And I'm going to make a big circle and come back, at, back diagonally to that very point. Can I try? Can I try? Let me show you if you can see that. I'm not sure if you will. They can't. Okay, well, I'll show you. And let me just show you in black marker. Uh, so, okay, I'm going to show you my line. I'm going to draw my vertical line. There's my vertical. There's my horizontal. And then my two little verticals. Okay, so that's what okay. I drew. Okay. In the meantime, I'm going to draw my eyes. That's my, those were my lines. And now, I'm going from that little little x on the right and i'm drawing it eyes big round fat circle right back to that point okay this means that our eyes will be approximately in the right place okay and approximately the same hopefully but it oh doesn't God, really matter they're not going to be perfect is, this is ridiculous to draw through so there we go i've just drawn both my eyes okay ah the stop no, you mustn't push hard. I can't draw on it. Okay, okay, you're not supposed to draw it with pencil. Okay, that's fine. What? Just, just, let me, can I draw it for you? Sure. I already drew it. No, but you're pushing too hard into the foam and it's cutting into the foam. It's just, I'm being, being very gentle. Like this. Oh my Look here, I'm being gentle. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. that hurt. So try again. Let's just draw, I'll just draw you some eyes here because. And what about my other eye? Okay, I'll help it. I'll help it. Okay. Oh, that's a bit close to the edge. But that's, let's just make this a little bit smaller. Okay, so when, let me just draw the marker. So, see, now, Tornado Tom made a few kind of lines there, but that's Mommy, fine. With our, black, they can't see, right? with our black marker. I don't think they can see. Okay, we'll see. Okay. Can so you I'm see going this? To fix it. Okay. There you go. Now you can draw the other one. Okay, and now, I'm going to now cut out my eyes. The way I do that is I have to fold the eye in half. So from that little point that we made, I'm going to cut. How do you fold it in half? I'm going to, well, if you just look what I'm saying. You take it from the point that I, from the point, hold it and 
kind of fold your eye in half. Like this? Same theory. Don't fold the whole piece very hard. Oh. You just want to... Can you And then you me? kind of um, cut the circle. Mom, so if you can looks... see what I'm doing, I don't know. So, and there we have one eye. Now you can have a one-eyed alien if you want. Okay. All right, let me just do this one and then we'll help you. So the idea is just to get the eyes to be as even as possible. Um, or at least to land up in the right place. There are my face of glitters. So there we have two alien eyes. Okay. So yeah. let me explain again. We're going to take, we have from the corner, the point of your eyes, from this point here, <coughs> we're going to fold it in half along this edge. Okay, so we're going to fold it. Yeah. Like, like this. Let me show you what I've done. This is so weird. I'm using my alien's okay, eyes as a sword. Back. Okay, so now you can cut the eye out. Guys, look, I'm using my alien's eyes as a sword. Okay. It's kind of weird. You maybe need some more smaller scissors. I think you can't really manage the scissors. No, 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 no. That, that one's not even folded. Okay, so you have to you go this it. one. No, you need to do it. I don't okay? have to do it. We'll go and get some small scissors. No. I want to use small scissors. Okay, then take this, the inside of your scissors and cut like this. Okay. And just mind your fingers behind. Hold, hold it like I'm holding it. This one has to be held. No. Hold it like your thumb up. Thumb up. Did you not teach you how to hold scissors at school? She okay. has. No, 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 but you're not holding there. You're holding here to hold the, the, the eye together. Tornado Tom, put your finger where my hand is. I don't want right. to cut my finger. No, well, don't. I don't know how to do that. Slowly, slowly. Put it. You're not going. You don't have control when you use the point of scissors. You need. No, no, no. You need to use the. Oh, okay. Turn, turn, turn. You can't turn. Okay, I'm gonna just help you. Okay, so maybe this is too difficult. I'm not sure, but. For me. <laughs> Tornado Tom's cutting is not a strong point, I suppose. Okay, so we've got some cool. Well, ones. Not, Those are cool, man. I'm not that good at cutting. Why not? I don't know. You don't know. I'm just not that good. Well, that is, this is something you can work on. Hey guys, look, I'm, not, I'm using my alien's eyes as a sword. Do you want me to cut your other one as well? Yeah. Okay, I'll cut the other one as well. So, Tornado Tom's going to spend his if weekend practicing you, cutting. If you, if it's too hard for you, then Ask you your mum or dad to help you. Okay? Here we go. You just There's my, Tornado you just, Tom. You just stole my line. I'll yeah, you upset. speak too slowly. I speak much faster. So now we're going to decide, we're going to do, do the... Very cool cellophane eyes. You are doing, you've got the blue, I'm going to do the green Wait, why eyes. Is sloppy? Um, Hold on. Just because it's folded like that. We're gonna, we can put a stick there. What? Okay, we'll put a stick. We're going to put the stick there, don't worry. Okay, so now we're going to just cut a strip of the cellophane that's at least as deep as your eyes are. Okay? A little bit deeper than your eyes. When I say deep, I mean they've got to obviously fit over the eye holes. Okay, and about as wide as the head. Make it approximate because we can always trim it off afterwards. Alright, to the top. How so this is I what I've that? got. I've now got a piece of cellophane like that. If I do this. Oh, oh, just a little piece. Hello. Oops. No, that's enough. I'm not sure. So just rather have too much than too little. Otherwise you're going to waste your cellophane. But Okay, so there we go. Tornado Tom's got this. And all you do is you simply... Light. Yep, this is a little bit too much. Don't worry, we cut it off off. Way too much. You lie it flat. You lie it flat on the back of your mask. Okay. And see what's going to happen. It's going to... Mom, you need to cut this bit off. Look. We will afterwards, but you tape... Afterwards? Tape it down first, yeah. Oh. Now I've just got to find the edge of the tape here. Wait, I don't know. Okay. I got it. Got it. I sorted. Thank you. This tape is awesome because you don't need scissors. It's serrated on the edges. So you just... Serrated? Thin. Oh, yeah. So you just have to tear it. There you go. Okay, so now I'm lying my green cellophane very flat and smoothly. Don't no wrinkles onto the thing and making sure that both my eyes are covered and I'm just gonna take one side down. Okay, so this is what I've got. I've got one side of the I've taped the top of it. Okay, how do I okay. do this? I'll help you. I'm gonna it's sometimes you might need a bit of help. Also, cellophane is rolled up. Rather turn it so that the roll. Me, look at my Tape. No, you need a big piece of tape that goes all the way along the top. I'll hold this for you. You can put the tape on. You can 
See, I'm pulling it quite flat, and so this is what I'm pulling the cellophane quite nice and flat. Okay, I'll make a long piece. Okay, not too long, just about this long, okay? I'll hold this side, you break that. All right. Okay. Here we go. So now, take it on Ugh. each end. Ow! And take it right, right along there, that nice, neat ball, but don't get it onto your eye. Hang on, just let go. Take off. Oh, now it's stuck to the cellophane. I'm just moving the cellophane up so it doesn't. Remember, you don't want to put the tape over where your eye, the eyes are. Okay, and well, you've got to stick it down really well, okay? And the bottom? And the bottom. You didn't do the bottom of yours. I know, but I'm going to trim mine quickly. So what I'm going to do, you see I've got all this flappy bit on the edge here. So I'm just going to trim it neatly around there so that it just fits inside the mask. Mm. The mask shape. So that when I take the bottom, that doesn't show. And if you pull it tight enough, you really don't need to worry about taping the sides because they should be hidden. So I would cut yours as well first before you actually tape it maybe. Just because it's going to make it much easier. Ah, tape. Okay, so there we go. Mommy, can you pull this thing down? Well, did you, okay, well we'll... And we'll guys, by different. the way, on my birthday, I'm going to turn nine. Okay, so there we go. So I might I'm have pulling. better English than this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Sorry, I messed up. There we go. Nice and smooth. Go, Gadget, go. Uh -uh. Got to smooth it nicely. Okay, now you might need a little more tape there. Now you can take your scissors. Okay, so this is what Tornado Tom has. And you see that it's, Look when you turn it over, oh, cool. you can see that it's sticking out over the edges. So he's going to trim that off quickly. Oh. While I quickly take mine down. Oh. Um. Right. Yeah. Okay, let me take, stick mine down. Oh, oh, once it sticks, it sticks, huh? Whoops. Don't worry, you can rip it off the cellophane. Done. Done. Okay, cool. I'm just going to do mine and then I'll have Wait, a Wait, now I need to cut off the cellophane. Yeah, just trim that. I'm going to trim mine because I've got a bit of tape that's hanging out here that shouldn't be there. Mm -hmm. So basically now I've got an alien with very cool green eyes. Now what you... Mommy, can you help me? Uh, don't cut side. You're cutting wrong. Your thumb is supposed to be on top. Thumbs on top, always. Thumb Let's on try. top, Thomas. When you cut with scissors, yeah. your thumb is always on the top. Okay, and also it's much easier to cut... Um, it's easier to turn the object than it is the scissors sometimes, I find. Okay? Mm. It doesn't have to be neat, it's just that we don't want it to show on the other side. Okay, that side. There we go, trimmed. Okay, so now I must just trim a little piece of tape. I need a stick. In here. Grab a stick. Here's the sticks. Oh, yours looks so cool. Look at his. Isn't that? Oh, wait, gotta show the bum cheek. Butt cheek. What butt chin? Very cool. Okay, Tornado Tom is going to do a stick and I'm going to try do the elastic. So I'm going to take one of my uh, society sticks and I'm going to make two holes for, this, for the elastic. I think I'm going to do it. Can I just judge by your head, please? Yeah, I'm going to do it just above the eyes here. Okay? So let's see if I can punch a hole here. Then... I will put this string here. We get easy peasy Japanese and try and put it on yeah, exactly yeah, the same I'm side. So I'm punching, punching a hole through the actual foam board. Guys, if you're from, if one of you is from Japan, you'll know that. Okay. If I'm one of you is from Japan, what? Easy peasy Japanese? Yeah. I don't know what it means. It's just a thing we say. Alright. Okay, so that's that. We so look at them. Look at mine. I look amazing, but I think the string is better. I do. You? I'm like, um, when we edited out, I actually like, Ooh. I actually like tested this thing on, and it feels way better. Oh. I'm sure that you would like choose string over this, like or always holding this too. Well, place. they're very cool, and we hope that you make. Let's hold them all up together. Yeah. We hope that you enjoy making them, and we enjoyed making them, and yeah. Yeah. Well then, I really enjoyed this one actually. That's our. This is like the most. This is like the most one I've actually enjoyed. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, high five for that. Woohoo! So that's our artsy fartsy tornado tom. Yeah. <laughs>
Okay. Wait. Um, um, the aliens want to say goodbye. Why don't we just draw some cocky? <gasps> Okay, say goodbye. Oh no, sis. Bye. <coughs>